Hi guys, told you I would be back. Um, this is actually gonna be the second video in this series where I'm actually gonna be tackling the real-time streaming plugin that is available both in Unity and Unreal for our virtual worlds experiences. Um, to recap a little bit of the last video, we just kind of went through the installation process and also what it would be like to use our sample project. Uh, so in this case, I'm actually just gonna be opening up the exact project that I created in the last one because it has the third person template and we can get started from there. So let's do this. First thing is first, I'm actually just gonna open up Unity over here. Doo -doo -doo. Um, last time we named this testing RTS or RTS testing. I'm gonna open it up right now. Take a few seconds. So I'm just gonna go into my Google Chrome and go ahead and actually open up my Adobe IO um, and log in. Again, cannot reinforce this more than enough. 50 gigabytes to start out for free. So while you work on this project, while you can do other things, you know, so test it out. <laughs> um, we're already in the streaming dashboard and we're just gonna leave it there. If you wanted to go a little bit further, let's open up the stream token that we created last time. So the testing RTS and let's leave it there, right? I think the project should have loaded already. Cool. I'm gonna go into my scenes folder and actually open up the playground scene, which is actually already provided to us, right? I mentioned last time that it has the same mechanisms as a video game, so shift for running, keyboard to move around, and we have our character working. The idea of this video is actually to project us what it would be like to have the same perspective as the character be what is streaming out into the world. And so if I go around and actually start looking at my main character, I can see him right here. But most importantly, I see there's a camera following this character wherever they go. And this is what we're gonna be using mostly. So from here, I'm actually gonna go into my main camera game object and I'm gonna close down all the transforms and the audio listeners and the Cinemachine Brain. The Cinemachine Brain is actually what's allowing the camera to be following the character. And if we go into my add components, I'm actually gonna have available new components because of the package that we installed from Dolby. So if I type in Mac Publisher, this, it's gonna have new information in here that we're gonna need. So to get started, um, let's do the streaming name. Remember, it's a wild card, so you can type in anything. So let's say Publishing World. That's gonna be the name, you can choose whatever you like. My credentials, as, in, as per the last video, we set up our credentials within the sample project and they're still the same. So in this case, I would just click into the dropdown that is available and select credentials. You can now close it. Same thing for the video configuration data. I can actually show you another way in which you can like just drag and drop this. So let's say I go into my samples, version one, the references, and go back into my inspector view. I can just drag this in and voila, there's two ways. So click on it or just drag in there. Now it's gonna be asking to use the use the audio listener as the primary source. And this essentially means that whatever the camera is listening to is whatever we are gonna be listening to from the stream. So I'm gonna say yes, right? My video source, my video source is gonna be the main camera. So selecting that in the same way that main camera apparently does not have an audio source. Interesting. Yeah, it was, it was correct. It does not have an audio source because it already has an audio listener right here. So you just have to make sure that it is clicked, right? And then most importantly is the clicking of the publish on start. And this will make sure that whenever you start your experience, it's actually gonna be streaming out into the entire world. So I'm gonna click here. And now we should be able to just start the experience. So if I go around, I can turn up the volume and I'm gonna be running. Right, so you're not viewing anything. You're like, where is this streaming out to, right? Okay, if I go back into the published token that I created last time and I go into playback, I'm actually gonna be seeing the hosted player path. I'm gonna click this here. I'm gonna copy that. And again, it's gonna ask for your 
publishing name, and it's also gonna be asking for your subscribe token. Subscribe token, we know what it is. So let's go back to the subscribe token, click on the token that you created, and then copy that in to the URL. We just need, uh, we just have to copy the stream name that we had in the Unity project per se. So the publishing world is what I'm gonna need to actually substitute here in your published name. I'm gonna click there. Voila. I don't know how long that was, but definitely more less than five seconds. Uh, five minutes. There you go. I'm confusing a lot of things today. Forgive me, guys. Um, if I go around here, you can see the latency. I, that's why I'm doing the uh, back and forth. Um, still retaining the high quality based on the resolution that I de uh, decided to select. And as you can see, it's 4K and very, very low latency um, running right now. If I didn't know which one was which, probably you can tell because I'm in an engine and controlling it, then you wouldn't know which one is which. But yeah. That's very simple how you can actually stream out your entire experience. And again, think about it in a different perspective. I'm utilizing the perspective of this camera following this main character. But let's say that you wanted to do a video concert. You might want to have a camera in this main stage or in the other main stage. You can actually be running multiple streams and actually just allocate cameras in there and not and have them be static. And then have another one just be like from the perspective of example project or something like that. Let's say that you're doing a webinar in that concert. There's millions of opportunities in how you can reimagine streaming out your entire experience into the world. So thank you uh, for this. In the next video, we're gonna be talking mainly about how do you then stream something into the experience. Let's say I have my iPhone and I wanna project it in front of, I don't know, this wall right here. I can place it as a material and have my entire video be projected in there. Um, so yeah, I'll see you next time.